34.5. This video, we're going to learn how to um, determine the standard envelope change of combustion using a calorimetric method. To determine the standard average change of combustion, we use the method called simple calorimetric method. So the setup here, okay, we call this one calorimeter. Okay, pay attention to the spelling. Okay, this one is not calorimeter. So for calorimeter, you can see that okay, it is related to color. Okay, but calorimeter, okay, is related to calorie. Okay, calorie. Okay, so uh, this is how we like uh, how we calculate okay or measure the calories of the food okay if we replace the ethanol here okay with food okay then actually it is a calorimeter is calculate the calorie on the food for this calorimeter you have to learn how to sketch the setup okay and then the, for this calorimeter we have composed of two parts the first part is the one above uh, we have a metal can here it contains some water in it and then we have a stirrer there Stirrer is try to uh, mix the water well so that the energy absorbed from the spirit burner can be evenly distributed in the water. And we have a thermometer in the middle to record the temperature rise of the water. And you can also see that, okay, we've got a polystyrene board around. So this one, uh, we'll try to use this one to reduce heat loss to surroundings. Remember, uh, you have to use the words reduce, but not prevent. Okay, prevent, okay, is incorrect. Okay, pay attention to that. Okay, so for this first half of the setup, uh, we can use an equation to check what is the function of it. So the E here is stand for the energy release from the combustion of the ethanol. Okay, when we burn the ethanol, they will release energy. So this energy has been captured by the water. So by using this equation, E equals to mc delta T, the change in temperature, okay, affecting this certain amount of water. Okay, we can calculate how much energy released here. So for the M, it stands for the mass of water. We're talking about the water above, okay. C, it is the specific heat capacity of water okay so specific capacity of water it is in the unit of joule per gram per k okay so basically this equation this unit means that for each gram of water to rise 1k by 1k, k is the unit of temperature. For each gram to rise 1k, how much energy we need to use, okay? So the last part, okay, delta T, uh, it is the temperature change. It can be rise, it can be lowered or things like that, but in this case, it have to be rise, okay? So the unit for this part will be k. Okay, uh, this have to be K because we have to eliminate this K. Okay, so therefore this one should not be in degrees Celsius. This one, if it is in K, then this one have to be in K. So the mass of the water also, it have to be in gram. Okay, so um, this will be the first part. Okay, the lower part, okay, is easy to understand. The lower part, okay, we have ethanol. In the process, okay, we keep burning the ethanol. So we we'll expect the mass of ethanol will going down. Okay, so the mass of ethanol. Okay, so uh, let's say if we burn 10 gram, then we will know that how many number of more have been used it up. So number of mass of ethanol, you just need to over molar mass of ethanol then you can find out the number of mole the number of mole of ethanol used so you can imagine right now okay if the setup okay at the beginning okay we keep burning the ethanol we will know the number of mole of ethanol used and then we check after this number of mole ethanol used how much temperature have been risen okay so we can calculate the energy release by using these two data okay we can help to find out the standard FOP change of combustion why we can do that okay let's have a look for the unit of standard FOP change of combustion it is Delta H equals to kilojoule per mole. Is that right? So kilojoule per mole, actually what you need to do is just having the 
energy over number of mole. And that's it. Okay, so you can use the energy here over the number of mole here. And you can find out the standard enthalpy change of combustion. Okay, so um, basically what we are doing is like this. Have a look of the flow. So first of all, the step to calculate the um, standard enthalpy change of combustion. First of all, um, you may uh, we should check this step one first. Okay, so we can use E equals to mc delta t. Okay, to find out the energy release. Second one, okay, we can find out the number of mole of substance to be burned by using mass difference over molar mass. Lastly, okay, the delta H, okay, the standard evolution of combustion will then equals to E E over number of mole. So pay attention, okay, I have a negative sign right there. Because all of you remember, standard enthalpy change of combustion have to be negative because it's an exothermic reaction. But I also include a step zero right there. Because sometimes, okay, they are not giving you the mass directly. Instead, they will tell you the volume. Okay, you imagine, okay, we got a beaker, or we got volume of water. I give you the volume of water, but volume of water, can it be equal to the mass? Mass. some of the time it is not okay so therefore uh, normally the question they may give you the density of water for water is okay because it is one gram per cm cube okay but for the other solutions maybe it is not one gram per cm cube then at that time you may need to multiply the density with the volume to find out the mass of the or solutions okay mass of the chemicals like that okay so just uh, a few tips okay have to remind you okay first of all okay remember we got two different metals are uh, two different masses so one mass is for the water above the mass of water above and also the other one okay will have a uh, mass of the chemicals below so for example in this case we have ethanol so do remember the mass okay don't mix it um, um, don't mix them up together because when you use e equals to mc delta t if you use the mass of uh, this one supposed have to be water but if you use the mass of the chemical then the calculation will be wrong okay so you have to match it second one okay is a c c is a specific capacity of a substance okay usually okay we talk about the water above so do remember match it with the mass of water what means by that okay if you are having the c that is related to the water then the mass okay have to be water as well so this one is saying matching with each other okay so last one is pay attention to the unit of c match it with other unit if c the unit okay just now okay we're using joule per gram per k then you have to notice that the temperature that you've used the unit have to be k the mass the unit of the mass has to be gram. Sometimes, okay, the question may give you kilogram. Then you have to first convert to gram, and then um, you multiply it together or to get the energy. Okay, so let's take a look of the first examples. So, our uh, example thirty four point one. So right here, okay, we have to determine the enthalpy change of combustion. In the setup, we are using simple calorimeter. Okay, and then we got. The first two, that would be spirit burner. That would be initial mass and final mass. So this purple one, okay, um, the highlighted one, would be related to the number of mode of chemicals. Okay, while the other ones, okay, you find that we have mass of water. So you can see two different mass. So this mass of water have to be related to the E equals to mc delta t. So therefore, you have a delta t final and initial water temperature and then we have a specific capacity of water so double check this one is water specific capacity so therefore you are related to the mass of water so this one have to be highlighted otherwise you will easily or uh, forgotten okay so step one okay you use e equals to mc delta t so energy released Okay, I insist to use the word release here. So therefore, the energy you calculate, okay, you can omit the positive sign or negative sign because release must be negative, okay? So energy release equals to mc delta t. So for the m, okay, that will be mass of water, that will be 200 
okay uh, I know that this is gram and this is gram so therefore I don't need to multiply by thousand where C will be using 4.2 sometimes the question will use 4200 sometimes they will use 4.2 it really depends on the question the data they give you remember try not to use the data that you have memorized okay so stick to the unit that they given to you and also the data they given to you so delta T okay is related to the K so for this one final minus initial so we will be 28 final temperature plus 273 Okay, and then minus 20 plus 273. You may say that, oh, I can just simply 28 minus 20. That would be all right. But technically, okay, actually the degree Celsius cannot be cancelled. Okay, the degree Celsius here cannot cancel with the unit, okay, in a specific capacity. So therefore, better, okay, to add 273 right there. Okay, so uh, by doing this, you will find that it will be equals to 6,720 Joule. Okay, I know that this one is Joe because this is Joe. Okay, so uh, step two, it will be calculate the number of mole. Okay, so the number of mole of ethanol, ethanol will equals to mass of uh, ethanol over the molar mass of it. So the mass of ethanol used will be fifty five point eight seven minus. 55.41 that will be the mass of ethanol over ethanol is c12 or uh, c2h5oh so c times 2 h times 6 plus o okay so this one you will have like 55.87 minus 55.41 okay over 46 so this one after you calculate you'll find that will be 0 0.0100 mole okay got it so after that okay what you need to do is just over the energy with ethanol will do so third part number three that will be the standard envelope change of combustion Remember, it have to be negative sign in front of it. So it will be negative 2720 over 0.01. So this one, okay, you will have 672000. The unit have to be joule per mole. But normally, I will express it in kilojoule per mole. So therefore, you divide this one by 1,000, and then you have 672. Oh, forgot the negative. Kilojoule mode okay so um at the end okay i highly recommend you to write the statement to answer it once okay so therefore the enthalpy change of combustion oh so this one is not standard sorry i forgot it so this one you can see that uh it is just enthalpy change of combustion it's not standard so uh you better not draw um the symbol okay uh the envelope change of combustion of ethanol is negative seven uh, 672 kilojoule per mole so normally okay they will uh, write a statement like this as well so just check a few things at the end okay remember you check the unit other uh, sign okay and also you have to check the unit of it Okay, so that's how we calculate okay, the standard envelope change of combustion. You should have two more examples right here. Okay, I highly recommend you to try this on your own. But one thing I okay, just want to draw your attention. You see that, okay, the water right now given to you, it is in volume. So remember step zero, you have to calculate the mass of the water as well okay so the mass of water okay you can see that we have a density here so the first of all okay you have to calculate the mass of water mass of water you can use um you can see they use this one okay but i prefer you set it out okay and write down maybe you write things like this mass of water equals to 250 times one so it will be 250 gram so you write 
um, the first calculation in this, okay, and then the second one would be things like uh, heat energy release or energy release, okay. So you find the number of mole, and then finally you just have the energy over number of mole to find out the uh, standard average change of combustion. So for the other questions here, okay, it will be the same, okay, it will be the same, okay, not that difficult, okay. But this time again, they give you water, okay. Do remember whenever they give you a density. Whenever the function of density, function of density, is just help you to convert volume to mass or mass to volume most of the time. So um, the experimental results, okay, when you do the experiment, you will find that the experimental result normally will be less negative or less energy release than the periodical one, okay? Uh, why the experimental one, okay, will be less negative? Mainly, there are a few sources of error. So you'll find that, okay, maybe due to heat loss to surrounding, so therefore the energy that you have will be smaller, okay? And then heat capacity of metal can and also thermometer were not taken into account, okay? We didn't calculate the the metal can and also thermometer actually they will also absorb energy is that right so therefore uh, if some of the energy absorbed okay by the metal can the thermometer it will rise their temperature so therefore the energy we calculate will be also less than expected and also some of the reactions they may have incomplete combustion as well if it have incomplete combustions that means okay the reaction is not purely the combustion then energy will be lost as well okay and last one okay the experimental or the experiment was not carried out under standard condition if you remember standard condition that we are talking about is 25 degrees celsius and 1 atm okay so maybe okay the uh, laboratories okay the um temperature around is not 25 degrees celsius and also the atmosphere pressure may not be the same every day okay so therefore this may also affect the values to comparing with the standard FOB change of combustion okay so due to this source of error okay you have to remember a few of them for example so basically again maybe you have one two okay i recommend the first two okay instead of the three and fourth one okay so um it will be like that and then uh how to improve okay normally okay the most common accepted answer will be use bomb colorimeter okay bomb colorimeter okay is the setup the one below okay so uh you can see that okay we have the water around the container so we have the sample put it here and then we will burn it okay so all the energy given out okay you have to be to the surroundings so therefore uh, the water can absorb most of the energy release okay even those okay you have uh a steel container right there okay the steel container okay it may like uh, uh have the energy have the temperature rise as well so that will be part of the concerns okay but uh in the calculations okay if we take the heat capacity of the thermometer and also the matter can into account for example this one into account then it will solve the problem as well okay so this one okay the uh, outer circles okay the water one it will be related to e equals to mc delta t okay if we know the mass change here we can have mass over molar mass to calculate the number of mole okay so by using these two okay we can also calculate the delta hc okay the standard average change of combustion Okay, so I uh, highly recommend you the first point, okay, use bomb colorimeter, okay, that will be very good. Just pay attention to the spellings only, no C-O, okay, it's C-A, okay. Second one, okay, if they say that, okay, other than bomb colorimeter, okay, what else you can use, okay, then you may say, uh, take the heat capacity of thermometer metals into consideration, into account, okay. If they also mentioned this one already, then maybe Finally, you can say, oh, reduce heat loss to surrounding by doing something, okay? Maybe use the polystyrene board, okay? Maybe wrap around the metal can uh, with some uh, paper, okay? Or wool or cotton, okay? Things like that, okay? But do remember, not prevent heat loss to surrounding, okay? This word, okay, must be wrong. I have mentioned so many times in the report, okay? So don't write prevent heat loss to surrounding. So, uh, summarize, okay, uh, to calculate delta HC, okay, we have to uh, first calculate the, first calculate the mass, 
of water, okay, by using like density times volume. Second one, or most important one, okay, that will be E equals to mc delta T, okay, and then we can calculate the number of mole of substance by using mass over molar mass. Remember, these two mass, okay, they are not the same. This mass and this mass, they are not the same. So check carefully. Normally, this mass have to be echo to the specific capacity. So this mass normally related to the mass of the substance to be burned. Okay. So delta H C. Pay attention to the symbol or the sign have to be negative here. And sketch. Okay. So recommend you to sketch this uh, setup a few more times. Okay. So the spirit burner. Okay. You may just draw something. Stupid like this, it will be all right, okay. And then, uh, source of error number one, okay, heat loss to surroundings, okay. Number two, okay, heat capacity uh, of the metal can and thermometer not taken into account. That one is quite common to be used, and also, okay, incomplete combustion in some cases it may happen. And also, the experiment is not carried out under standard condition. The improvement, okay, highly recommend you to suggest use bomb calorimeter. Okay, so basically for this setup, uh, for this section, okay, you have to know how to do the math and also know um, the source of error, improvement, and also how to draw the setup as well. Okay, so that's all for this video. Bye bye.